Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the odd and even functions. So the odd and even functions, they bo both do similar things. Uh, both of them round a positive or negative number uh, away from zero. Uh, the odd function rounds it to the nearest odd integer, and the even function rounds it to the nearest even integer. So they round away from zero. So for example, I have the here 1.4. If I want to use the odd function, I just type in equals odd. I'll go ahead and tab it to close it and select that number. Now once I press return, it's going to round up to the next odd number, which will be 3 since this is 1.4. It's going to round up to the nearest integer. Now with the even number, let me go ahead and type equal even. Go ahead and tab it out to complete it there. The even function is going to round up to the next even number. When I select this here and press return, it's going to round up to the number 2. So this works also with negative numbers. So if I put a negative 1.4, you'll notice that it's going to round away from 0. So this is going to round to negative 3, and it's also going to round to negative 2 here, respectively here. So what it's going to do is, is it's going to round up or down or away from 0 to the nearest odd or even number, depending if you use the odd function and even function. So how can we use one of these functions in real life? So here's an example. Let me go over to this other tab here. So let's say that you have a bunch of students and you're trying to figure out how many seats you need, maybe uh, on, on a bus, if you're, there's a different bus configurations or shuttle, shuttle configurations, and it seats two people. And you have a number of students or a number of people that would be going on a trip. Let's say in this example, it's 17. Now, each seat or booth seat fits two people. So what you can do is use the even function uh, to figure out how many seats you at least need because what happens is with the even function will round it up to the nearest even number and then you can divide by two and figure out how many seats the bus must have in order to carry uh, the number of students you need. So we, what we can do is type equal even and then enter this number here, close parentheses, and then divide it by two. Right? So that will give us nine seats. So we, we need nine of these booth seats. So you have to figure out you would need a bus or shuttle that ha has at least nine of these booth seats that would seat two. Now we can also change this number. Maybe we have 21. Then we'll figure out we need at least 11 of these booth seats. So there's a situation where we can use at least the even function to kind of figure out uh, how many seats we would need for uh, the amount of uh, riders for a particular bus or shuttle. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.